Hello, and welcome back to part four of the Laura WAN with STM32WL Getting Started series. I'm Jyoti Arena, Wireless Applications Engineer from ST Microelectronics. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get your data up to a cloud application server for visualizing the STM32WL's data that's being reported on a dashboard. This is a continuation of the preceding videos of the series, so please make sure to watch those if you haven't already. I'll be using the application server from my device as Cayenne. Cayenne is one of the easiest IoT platforms for developing nice user interfaces for IoT solutions to visualize real-time and historical data sent over the Things network. I'll get started by creating an account on mydevices.com. You can register for an account from here if you don't already have one. Once registered, I'll go ahead and log in. From the main dashboard, I can start to add my device by clicking on LoRa. Then I'll select the Thanks Network at the bottom of the network menu and find and click on Cayenne LPP. Now I need to enter the dev UI of the scm 32 wl on device, which I can find in the Thanks Stack console. I can copy it from here, then return to the dashboard and paste it after click Add Device. Now I need to go back to my end device in the Think Stack console to create a webhook in order to forward the data to the Cayenne application server. I'll name the webhook ID and click Create. There's one final step in order to display the end device's data in the Cayenne dashboard. The payload has to be encoded with the Cayenne low power payload format. So I need to set this in the LoRaWAN end device firmware project. Same project as one ran in the preceding part three video of the series. Thankfully, the example project already supports this format. So I just have to uncomment the Cayenne underscore LPP pound defined from the LoRa app header file to enable it. For a closer look at the Cayenne low power data format, you can review the documentation accessible from the Cayenne account. If you click on the docs link, then click LoRa, you can find an overview of this data format in case you are interested in adding additional sensors to the application. Once the change is made, I'll save the file, rebuild the project, and load it on the WO Nucleo board. Then I'll exit the debugger to let the program free run. Now, after the end device establishes a connection with the network server and it starts to report data, I should see the display widgets appear on the dashboard as the data seen by the application server, showing pressure, temperature, and humidity data. However, note that the display is dummy data generated by the WL end device and not actually originating from real sensors. To learn more about how to integrate real sensors, I invite you to watch the following video number five of the series where my colleague Shrikant demonstrates how to integrate the drivers for the sensors on the XNucleo IKS0183 Motion MEMS and Environmental Sensor Expansion Board in order to report and visualize real sensor data. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.